Good evening, you guys, and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, okay? Uh, I hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I'm doing a video kind of late, but I've had a festive, festive day, okay? And it's still not over with because I, I got things to do even... Um, tonight they are doing a sting okay and they not playing either because i'm gonna tell y'all something some people that i bonded out last week they folks calling me back today okay now, at, at least three of them i've been called back today so they're not playing out there in memphis that zero i forgot what it's called a zero tolerance situation that it's in effect for real but anyways, you guys, I wanted to talk about um, keep doing right even when bad surrounds you. It's going to turn for good and work out for you in the end, okay? And this is going to be a short video, but uh, today has been a festive day, but it's been a wonderful day, as every day is always wonderful, right? You know, every day that you're able to get up and, and, and make it right, it's a great day, right? You just have to make up your mind. And... You know, I think we're living in a time where, where um, you know, people are so depressed because they're surrounded by, it's a lot of people surrounded by bad energies of when people want to do evil things or when people are just flat out depressed, right? When I woke up this morning, I turned over and I started looking at my lake and I don't know, I just, I felt, um, I just felt a peace, when I woke up, I just felt a peace. And I guess I felt that peace, you know, because, you know, God was working some things out as God always worked things out. Right. You know, for me, um, God is always working things out for all of us. Right. Rather we know it or not know it. And, you know, I got to thinking about, you know, how some people, how we all go through stuff like last year was not a good year for me. Um, even though I made it through that year, right? I was like, dog, like, I thought I was on the verge of some breakdowns, especially uh, right after my dad passed away, okay? My dad was my road dog. I think y'all have heard me talk about this, right? Um, he definitely was a fixer of everything as it relates to me. Um, he was a strategist. He was just, I just had him there, okay? And I, you know, when things like that first happen, at first you go into shock. Okay. You go into shock. And then after you come out of shock, I think you go into a depression because now you got to deal with the person that has been there for you, even though my mother and I are very close. You got to deal with it, right? That, that you know, you're never going to see them ever again. Okay. And, you know, that's just life. That's life. My dad took a a journey. I had to accept that my dad had taken a journey that we all got to take. That's a walk we all got to take. I promise to God, because God is a just God. He said, all must die. So that's a journey that each and every one of us got to take. And hey, you have to accept it and live your life and keep going. And so last year was not a good year. Uh, for me, even though I made it through that year, you know, um, but this year has been like a revitalization year, um, whereas things have been a lot, a whole lot better. Um, you know, you start to get your energy back, your joy back. You, you, you think about the things that remain, you know, like your mother, your children, your, my, I got a grandbaby and all of that. And I think we all should think about it, even if it's not the the uh, death of a loved one, you know, that we have to deal with as it relates to, you know, like losing anything, right? Um, even when, if it's, you know, depression from, um, hey, just the evils of, of, of life, you know, evil people, rather you're working on the job and you have a boss um, that messes with you for nothing or people that, that mess with you for nothing. You know, um, your kids are wayward. Just keep doing good 
even when bad things surround you. I'm a living witness. It's going to turn for good and work out for you in the end. You know, um, I hope I'm saying this scripture right. The race is not given to the swift or to the strong, right? But those who endure to the end. And you just got to understand that, you know, life is really to be enjoyed. And I think people get so off of track when they fail. Okay. I don't, I don't have issues with failure. I used to like a long time ago, I used to be scared to do anything, um, to start something because I was afraid of failure, but now I'm not, it's been years. Like I start something. If I fail, um, edit, I try it again. And then I start praying about if it's not for me, walk me into another door. Cause I don't want to walk into doors that are not for me. Right. If it's people that's trying to block me, Hey, I know how to go up into the spiritual realm and, and start moving things. Right. And I think oftentimes, and I've been guilty of it too. Uh, we forget and we try to fight evil things, uh, in our flesh, rather we're going off and screaming and, um, you know, what you're doing is you're operating in an atmosphere oftentimes that the enemy, that evil people, that's their atmosphere, right? So it's funny to them. But when you start going up into other realms because they're so low vibrational, they don't know anything about those realms. That's when you start to pull down those things that you need to eliminate the enemy, right? When you start getting around people, I always, you know, I was telling my daughter this yesterday when she called me. When she FaceTimed me, I was like, you got to start being around people, okay, um, in your age bracket that um, that's on some positive stuff, right? Um, you got to start being around those people, you know, that want to see you do well, that push you uh, to do well. Uh, people that want, people that are doing well themselves, it's always good to get around people that is doing better than you. I love it. You know, I don't like to be the smartest person in the room. I don't like to be the person who is doing the best. I like to be around people that is doing way better than me because I love to learn, right? And I was telling my daughter that, you know, get around people that are your age, that's doing better than you, that are on positive vibes and things of that nature and cut off that negativity. Start cutting off anything that's negative. Limit the access to you, right? And watch and see how you start to flow because negativity and evilness, when you have people that lurk around you like that, that's heaviness, right? And sometimes, you know, especially when you're, you're smart and you have a mandate on your life and all of that, uh, sometimes you hold yourself back. You know, you get to talk about, well, you know, the devil holding me back. No, sometimes you're holding yourself back because you refuse to release that those energies and those entities that just cannot go with you on another level. Right. When you start to level up, everybody can't go with you. It don't mean that it's beef. It just means that their vibration is not high enough to uh, excel with you. They got another journey. Once they start to level up, right? Once they start to level up, um, you might meet them in your journey again, but you cannot, you have to think about what is around you and stop allowing uh, certain entities and energies to hold you back, right? You know, I know sometimes people get talk about, well, some people are loyal to a fault. Loyalty is extinct, but you have some people that are loyal to a fault. No, I want to take my bros with me. And your talent and, and the prayers of your mother and others and people that are around you that walk you into rooms, hey, that everybody don't get a chance to walk in. It's a once in a lifetime type situation. And they walk you in there. You, I mean, they pray you in those rooms. And because of your loyalty to certain people who you were supposed to um, drop, they help you um, to for forfeit it, right? So that's why you just got to learn to eliminate and start um, um, excelling, start, you know, just start floating, okay? Just keep doing right, even when bad things surround you, right? When bad things surround you, just keep excelling and after a while you'll be up too high for them to even reach right because one thing about people when they want to do better okay when they want to do better they will do better they'll change you can't change them 
They got to have a mindset to change. You know, I get to thinking about Key Glock. That's one of the ones I think about because y'all know we um, talk about the Young Dolph's case a whole lot. I think about when Key Glock was following Dolph around and um, I, I, he's not one for a lot of words, right? But he was saying, he said um, he was in the studio all the time. He was up there. He ain't had no car. Um, he was like, it's got to work. This is this. I, I ain't got nothing to go back to. And I think that's one of the reasons why young Dolph um, poured a lot into him because he was a willing student, right? He was a willing student because he understood I'm trying to get to where young Dolph is. I ain't got nothing to go back to this gotta work. And I think young Dolph saw that, you know, when you're trying to pour into someone that don't know um, they're not bucking against you because they think they know more than you. Hey, they are a willing student and it makes you want to pour even more into them. Right. He just kept he just he just kept being a willing student. He just kept going even when 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 the heat. Hey, he didn't he didn't have no choice. He said, I ain't got no choice. This got to work. I can't I can't go back. It ain't nothing back there. And that's why you just have to keep doing right. And you have to keep going even when bad things surround you, even when it don't look good and look at what happened. Right. Even before young Dolph had passed away, he had the opportunity. Right. Um, to see him because he was a part of that. Um, to see him enjoy the manifestations. Right. Of God, because that's where the blessings come from. God. Right. And even for you all, you know, for a lot of people that, you know, they feel like they, they're always in a storm, right? And they go, it just always seems like that I'm in a storm. Yeah, it always seems like you're in a storm because, um, because you got people around you that create storms. <laughs> you got people around you that create bad things, right? So you can't, you you go, but I don't never do nothing. But you have to watch the energies that's around you, right? And just keep going. Just keep doing good. Hey, just keep doing good. Um, detach from that type of stuff. And after a while, it's going to turn for the good and work out for you in the end. I don't care what people do to you. Okay. It might seem like they're getting away with it, but they don't really get away with it. Everything has a ending, right? And it's going to always turn for you in the end. And then you can go run and tell all your friends, God has won again. Get around people that's going to that's going to come together and agree and truly pray for you right if you're around i tell people all the time if you if you're in some type of praying group and you've been praying and the stuff ain't coming to pass cuz see when two or three agree god says i will be in the midst right if you ain't got nothing coming to pass and you've been sitting up praying for years and years and years. You might need to be very careful because I'm going to tell you about who you, who you praying with because everybody don't ain't praying with you. OK, they they praying against you. They I, I used to know this girl. And I used to have a bad about jumping on these prayer lines, especially when I was trying to figure some stuff out when I was younger. I was jump on the prayer line. Um, you know, we all start trying to find ourselves and start trying to find God. And so. I jumped on this prayer line from out of Atlanta and just so happens that one of the girls was from Memphis and she was like, she just kind of, you know, we just kind of connected, right? She's like, you from Memphis? I'm from Memphis. I'm from North Memphis. I'm like, oh, okay. And so I remember one time after we got to talking to stuff, we would talk on the phone and she was like, girl, this girl was praying one time and girl, everything she was saying, I was rebuking it. I was just coming against it. I was like, wow. I said to myself, wow, you know, this is a girl that we're on the prayer line with and she don't like this girl. And, and this girl's, I'm believing God, you know, to re, re to, to, um, to rekindle my marriage and, and for us, you know, to, for my finances and this, this and that, and she coming against it. So you have to be very meticulous about, um, um, who you speak things out to sometimes you get emotional and you get mad and you want to speak it out hold your peace hold your peace and let god fight your battle right even if it looks like it ain't gonna change it is it's gonna change everything bad 
has an ending, okay? Everything bad has an ending. Sometimes things happen to us and we wonder why, why it had to happen to me. Maybe it's because, you know, um, it took a lot of other people down, right? And it's time for it to end. And so God chose you because of your prayer life and your prayer circle, right? Maybe you got the connections for it to stop if it's a bad thing, right? Always look at it like that because, listen, nothing evil can ever win. I always tell my kids that no, evil can never win. So be very meticulous about, you know, what you say and what you do in anger because in the end, evil will never win. So just keep doing good um, do and doing right when you are surrounded by bad things, right? Because it's going to turn for good and work out for you in the end. I know a lot of people go, but I can't see my way through this storm. I just don't believe it. You know, be careful about what you speak out your mouth, okay? Because words are powerful. Words are spells, right? That's the reasons why you have to consistently pray. Because people be speaking when they're evil. They be trying to speak curses on you all the time. But when you know how to use your tongue and you know how to pray, that stuff be bouncing right off of you. And they go, I've been praying and lighting candles and speaking voodoo for years. Ain't nothing happened to it. No, can't nothing happen to you when you know how to use your words. Stop cursing yourself. Everything bad always happening to me. No, I'm going through this little storm. But guess what? I was chosen for this storm right here. I'm an eagle. I'm going to fly through this thing. Okay. God says when... God says that um, he would lift up a standard. I want to look up that scripture. And I know the scripture. But I just want to say it right because it's a very inspirational scripture. He says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God will lift up a standard against him. OK, so that means you got to keep praying. You got to keep doing right. You got to keep, you know, meditating and being in commune with your higher power. Right. Because one thing about wicked people, they're very low vibrational. OK. And God says when they when as, as long as you're in tune, you got to go in first. Right. And that's to go in and start praying and connecting with the almighty God or your higher power, whatever you call him or it right and then god says he would lift up a standard that's that that's the true meaning of you can't touch this you can speak out curses you can try and do this you can try and do that your days are numbered okay it's the countdown okay your days are numbered we are truly in the countdown to your disaster okay because god says i will lift up a standard against the enemy and people need to remember that okay everybody that does evil their days are numbered god took me to this scripture today and i my, my heart was so happy um when he took me to the scripture about um hey um i couldn't do nothing but run to my bible and first of all i had to call my praying my praying line with with the um elderly women that's always praying for me I had to, um, I asked, I said, God, take me to a scripture. And I went to Proverbs uh, about e uh, evil coming to an end. I, I, I Googled, it, Googled it and I was like, uh, take me to a scripture about evil things coming to an end. And God took me to Proverbs 16 and 14, where he says, the Lord works out everything to his proper end, even the wicked for a day of disaster. Okay. And our tears just started falling. And that's when I put Zacardi Cortez. I thought about that song. God, I can run and tell all my friends that you have won again. I don't know a battle or any storm that I've ever went in. Okay. That God has not won. Okay. It's truly when I just surrender. I stop trying to fight a carnal thing. You know, how, how we want to fight back. You're not weak if you don't fight back. What you need to do is go in and then ascend and connect with the source. Anybody that's doing evil can't connect with the source. They can't. 
go in and meditate and then connect with the source and watch and see on God lift up a standard. And it's going to turn for your good and work out for you in the end. Always remember that evil can never win. If you don't ever remember anything else that I say, I don't care how long evil has had its run. It will never win. It just can't. It just can't. But anyway, I was feeling I was getting ready to come on tonight. I was like, no, I think I'm a chill. I think I'm a chill. I um, I'm supposed to get back on the um praying line. It's Saturday, and normally, now I'm gonna try to stay up because I got. I'm waiting on them to um, some of my clients. I'm waiting on them their buns and stuff to post. I done called over there several times. I don't want to get out too late, but they've been they waiting, and I'm going and get their boyfriends out of jail, child. Um, but I guess it all works out because we have a midnight, uh, praying and testimony line. I got a testimony. I got a testimony. So I, I got to stay up and tell all of my friends that God has won again. Okay. And when you go in and ascend and connect with the source, you won't be able to lose. I always remember that. I always remember that it's going to turn for good and work out for you. You got to be right, though. You got to do right and you got to be right. OK, but anyways, you guys, I just I, I love you guys. You know, um, I'm, I'll get on live tomorrow when I get home from church. OK, when I get home from church, I will get on um, mm -hmm. if I don't be out too late, you know, at the bonding company. OK, I tell you, I I think I I you know what I y'all I be over there at that bonding company when I'm over there late. I don't know what those bounty hunters be on, but they be geeked up, and it seems like they be in there from morning all the way. I'm I ask them when the hell y'all sleep from morning all the way. I mean, and they be geeked up, and I be all bent over, and I just be up there a few hours and be tired if it's late. And I mean, they be geeked up, okay? But child, I guess they own they good, them good vitamins or some other, okay? But anyways, you guys, um, I um, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe, okay? If you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via Cash App. I love you guys. I'll speak with you soon.